science. What do you mean, why? In life science class, the lesson was about cells. Fine, I get it. Then Dan, the ultimate nerd, said he was reading a book about stem cells. Then he and the teacher went on and on about stem cells. I don't even know what those things are. I don't understand at all. Yeah, that could be tough. But you remember what it's inside here? Yeah, my baby sister. A whole bunch of stem cells. Really? That's where babies come from. Bunches of stem cells. They said stem cells are different from other cells in the body. But why? I don't understand some of the big words that they use. Yeah, that could be tough. Now, why don't we go over to the table and we can discuss what those big words mean? You see this? I bought a book about how babies form and grow, and it has stem cells in it. Wow, cool. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you see here, they define embryonic, specialization, and differentiation. I know embryonic means when a baby's just started. Mm -hmm. Like right here. It's the period just before the sperm enters the egg. The cells start to divide very rapidly, and it's at this very early stage we call them embryonic stem cells. See here? It says stem cells are different from any other kind of cells in the body. First, they can divide and make more of themselves, and that is called self-renewal. So self-renewal means to divide and make more, like making copies? Yes, and it says under the right conditions, embryonic stem cells can keep dividing. Like forever? I guess so. Scientists can grow embryonic stem cells in the laboratory. They keep dividing for a long time. But that's not all that stem cells can do. They can also become specialized. What's that mean? Well, you know how people have different jobs like carpenters? And teachers and football players and uh, bus drivers? Exactly. Doing one particular job, that is specialization. certainly is. Tim said he wants to be a doctor when he grows up, and Jenny says she wants to be a lawyer. Well, what about you, Billy? I don't know. There's so many jobs, so many things to do. I kind of want to do them all. Ah, oh, that's okay. That's normal. You're like stem cells. When they're young, they don't know what they want to do. Right now, you might grow up to be anything you want. But soon you'll find out what interests you, and then you can find out your specialization. They can develop into more than 220 cell types in the adult body. And because scientists can grow them so they can keep dividing, embryonic stem cells can be useful tools for both research and regenerative medicine. Wait, what's regenerative? Well, generate means to make something. So regenerate needs to make it again. Yeah. It's when human cells, tissues, or organs need to be replaced. Like last year, when Uncle Frank needed a new kidney, he had to go to the hospital for an operation to get a donor kidney. Maybe in the future, instead of looking for a suitable donor, scientists will be able to grow a kidney from embryonic stem cells. Cool. Doctors are looking at possibly treating cancers, Parkinson's, even blindness. It could also be used after someone is injured in an accident, like a spinal cord injury. Does that mean I don't have to wear a helmet anymore? No, you still have to wear your helmet. <laughs> the science is still way long off. It took 20 years to learn how to grow human embryonic stem cells after learning how to do so on mice. So it's gonna take quite some time before they make real organs. Still, it's exciting what's happening. And embryonic stems are already helping us to learn more about diseases and find out which medicines and treatments will be safe. Maybe I'll be a scientist.